Matt's right on here and a few weeks ago we started the process of fermenting some tomatoes fresh out of the garden. We picked them and we put in a couple tablespoons of salt and topped it off with water and dropped a weight in here and now we're going to find out the results. A um, couple of things before we crack open this jar which I have just released the pressure on. Uh, one of my jars, unbeknownst to me when I was, didn't really notice when I was filling it, it was not a wide neck jar, it was a standard neck jar. I don't have weights to fit these, so this is what I ended up with. I don't think I'm going to eat this at all because some of these tomatoes would have been exposed to oxygen during this process and that's what you kind of want to avoid. You want to keep them submerged with the weight that's in there. Um, so I'm probably going to open this up and go and pitch it in the compost. Um, maybe I'll try one and see how it is. Uh, but you definitely want the weights because these are pretty heavily carbonated right now. And that pressure just forced all those tomatoes up to the top of the jar. So another thing that I'll point out is when I mentioned in the first video to to uh, degas these every couple days with just a quick twist. I don't know if you could hear that hiss and then recap it. I meant it. If you look at the top of this jar, it's pretty much ruined. Um, and I had one that uh, is actually, I think two weeks, um, newer than these other jars and I degas this I, th I think I degas this a few days ago maybe I didn't and that's why it's pretty much destroyed this lid but uh, if you decide to do something like this you have to keep an eye on it and check them don't let them go more than a couple days without letting some of that pressure off uh, the other way to do this would be to get a lid with an airlock. I know I have some, um, I believe they're made of silicone lids that have like a little bubble on top. It almost looks like a little tiny balloon and it fills up to a certain point and it releases gas. Uh, I was just trying it this way and this was my results. So, just a warning, if you do do this, you have to keep an eye on it. So now we're gonna crack one of these actually open for the first time and hope it doesn't make too much of a mess. I'm just going to leave the lid on lightly for a minute and let some of that gas out. It is just bubbling up to the top and venting gas like crazy. Oh, and we've got a bunch of tomatoes that have managed to slip by the weight. So, and you can see it just bubbling up in there. I guess I'm gonna try one of these ones at the top. I'm pretty adventurous, so. It's salty from the salt. Otherwise, it tastes like a, a tomato. Um, I think these, you can see that there's some just paste that they've lost. So it wasn't like uh, bursting in your mouth or anything, but it was bubbling in your mouth. It's like carbonated. A fizzy tomato. 
that is up there with the oddest things ever. Um, it was good though, it's good. Not quite like a tomato out of the garden, which I mean, you can't expect anything that's not a fresh tomato out of the garden to really taste like that. But the brine in there gives some flavor in itself. Like I said, it's salty. Um, I could definitely see these being good in some kind of sauce, like if you were to make a pizza sauce or a pasta sauce out of one of these jars. Um, and just a lot easier than canning or any other kind of preservation method that you're gonna use. I mean, you literally drop these into the jar, add your salt and water, put the weight in there, um, and burp them every few days. And now I can put these in to more cold storage. I'm gonna take these jars and put them in the refrigerator and hopefully I, I assume that the uh, fermentation will stop at that point so then you won't have to burp them anymore. So, um, there's a nice one. It's good. That's a nice little snack, actually. Instead of having uh, a pickle or something, you can have a fermented tomato. Pickled tomatoes. And there you have it. This has been the Master of None fermented tomatoes tasting video. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, and we'll catch you next time. Thank you.